uh, what, what have you learned uh, from the technology ecosystem and the innovation ecosystem? Well, Canada's always been a, an innovative country. To, to, to make it through our winters and our long nights, we've had to figure out how, how to innovate. We've had to figure out uh, how to, how to do, do things better, do things more efficiently, do new things. Uh, even in the natural resources sector, uh, we've always had to and we've always been able to be really thoughtful and innovative and creative and use science and research to, uh, to advance our ways of, of succeeding and being competitive because, because of geography, because of population, economies of scale. Uh, we've, in many cases, had to become more efficient and more innovative than uh, our natural resource competitors around the world, even on environment. If we've got higher standards, uh, we have to try and figure out how to compete with people with lower environmental standards. So there's always been an element of innovation to Canada. What we're seeing now is instead of having innovation that is... Uh, natural resources based or an add-on to other things we're doing, um, we have a generation of entrepreneurs, of thinkers, of leaders who realize that innovation, as you say, uh, can be a driver in and of itself uh, in terms of how it directly affects people and how it directly improves our lives. Uh, and that's going to be the story of the coming decades. We know there's massive disruptions around automation, around AI, around uh, all the various transformations going on in our workplace and making sure that we understand that you know what what people can do better than any computer program has to do with uh, creativity, collaboration, uh, inspiration, uh, innovation uh, and getting as many young Canadians uh, and Canadians of all ages able to access uh, the kind of training, learning, innovation and ecosystem to support going from an idea to um, you know, actually marketing it uh, is exactly what we want to see.